breakfast. 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 I don't know what's wrong with the way I'm saying breakfast, but I can feel that it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> I'm Cara Nicoletti. Hi, I'm Wiley Dufresne, formerly of WD50 and Alder Restaurants, currently of Dew's Donuts and Coffee here in Brooklyn. Awesome. And today, tell us what we're going to be making. We're going to be making an egg clair. And okay. We're having a little bit of fun with the idea of a bacon, egg, and cheese Love sandwich. It. Yes. It looks like an eclair, but mm -hmm. feels like a savory sandwich. So it's playful. I think it's important you have a little bit of fun with your food. And yes, so today, I we're agree. definitely going to have some fun. Cool. This how-to is inspired by Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. Nitro is different from other cold brews because it's poured from a tap that infuses the cold brew with nitrogen, creating millions of micro bubbles that give it a frothy texture, and it has more caffeine than regular iced coffee, which makes it the perfect beverage to pair with your breakfast. We have eggs, we have bread, and cool. then we've got these crunchy bits of dried uh, speck or prosciutto. And then we have some nice cheddar cheese that we're gonna melt. It's gonna come together. You're gonna be able to close your eyes and say that this tastes of a bacon, egg, and cheese. Very cool. But visually, it reminds me of the bakery case. A little bit of fun, a little playfulness. A great coffee accompaniment. Absolutely, a hundred percent. And if you were making this at home, what would you need? A professional chef. Yes. <laughs> If you were gonna make this at home, nothing too crazy. Sort of the, the one item here is the water bath. This is kind of like a, imagine like an outboard motor that yep. has a heater attached to it. So mm -hmm. it's circulating the water, but it's also controlling the temperature. Okay, so the first step is boiling these eggs for nine minutes. Correct, okay. correct. And then we're gonna shock them in the ice bath and peel them. <laughs> yeah, They're yeah, done yeah. after nine minutes. You've mm -hmm. put them in the ice yes. to, to stop the cooking. So now we're just gonna blend our mix mm -hmm. um, and it's just, the eggs. Mm -hmm. Whole milk. A little bit of whole milk. One of my favorite ingredients, cream cheese. I'm just gonna scrape the sides ever so gently. See, one of the reasons we've cooked this a little bit lower than like a, you know, a classic hard boil too, is you can get a little bit of that, not only that chalky yolk, but you can also get a little bit of that sort of sulfury smell. Mm -hmm. And we want to avoid that. Mm -hmm. This is a whipping siphon. People are Great. familiar for whipped cream, yeah. using it for whipped cream. Or a soda, you could put liquid in there and carbon dioxide and you could carbonate drinks and things like that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this egg mixture in there wow. and then we're gonna charge it with a little nitrous and that's gonna really lighten it up and it's gonna cool. make it feel kind of like the lightest, fluffiest scrambled eggs ever. And we're gonna put that inside the eclair. Fill this guy right up. We're just gonna fill our guy right up. And this is cool, this is a little attachment for for, so, that we can... so we can get into the eclair. Cool. So we're gonna drop it in there. Great. For about 15 minutes. With this, we have the opportunity because we have you know, some proteins in the eggs that are gonna give it some structure, some emulsifiers. We're gonna be able to put some nitrous in here, which is gonna not make it fizzy like that, but it's gonna give it a real nice cream of mouth. So, cause when I think of nitrous, I'm thinking of like soda bubbles or, this is to lighten it, this is to aerate it. Yes, and soda is typically carbon dioxide. So this is nitrous. So um, this is what's gonna make it uh, lighter here. Crank down on that all the way. Okay, all, yeah, there you go, take it off. Take what off? Unscrew it. Oh no. <laughs> what am I I'm just doing? kidding. No. <laughs> Wait, so all of that just went in there? Yeah, turn it upside down, the whole thing. Hold it by that, yep. Give it a shake. Shake it, yeah, a dozen times. Yeah, don't And then? Yeah. Yep, and then I'm gonna put it back in there, let it heat up for a so few more minutes. So I don't take this one off? No, nah, you can leave that on there, that's fine. Okay, so how is this different than the nitrogen that I mentioned earlier? It's a smaller texture bubble, and it doesn't carbonate the way CO2 does. You're putting nitrogen, nitrous into the salt. Okay, let's party. I'm gonna make sure that it's working. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that's bad? It's awful. No, this is incredible. It's so light and creamy, and I can taste the cream cheese, which I'm really into. A properly baked eclair arrives hollow. True. Originally, we were scrambling eggs, putting them in a bag warm, filling them, and I sort of thought there has to be a better way to get there. So now we're just gonna take some cheese, lay our cheese right on top. 
You want to do one? Mm -hmm. Now we just have to melt our cheese. Wow, that is gorgeous. These are just two different hams. This is prosciutto and this is speck that we've dried in the oven for a while just to make it a little bit crunchy. Mm -hmm. uh, give it some texture. You want to garnish one? Wow. And I'll garnish the other since there's really no sort of right or wrong way to do this. I feel that I want crumbles. So we've got some chopped chives and some crispy ham products here. The only idea is that it's just, it's kind of fun. Now we just need to ask for salt, pepper, ketchup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. Looks great. Cool. Looks just like the pastry case, right? Gorgeous. Okay. Can you get real close to her while she's eating? <laughs> Whoa! Wow. It really is a bacon, egg, and cheese, but so much better. <laughs> well, it's just different. It's fun. It's different. It's, like I said, the, the idea is, is that I don't want to ruin your bacon, egg, and mm -hmm. cheese memory, but I kind of want like close your eyes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like I want to tap into that memory. Yeah. There you go. There's your bacon, egg, and cheese, or Thank you. your egg clair, as we like to call it. Love it. <laughs>